listening, if you want to get into our chat room, hit that little chat icon, that chat bubble. That'll bring you right into the chat room. Or you can call us live, 651-968-0124. The number has not changed. I'll get that in the chat room here very shortly. And for the next couple hours, come roll with the sports governor of Minnesota, people. And we'd love to have you, man. So other things we're going to talk about, there's some other NBA stuff happening. Uh, Players opting out of contracts. There's been some signings. There's been all kinds of stuff kind of popping off already as the off season has officially begun. So stay tuned with us. We're going to have a lot of fun chatting about this tonight. And oh, another topic in kind of what I call my right to the point segment, we're going to get into the social media and athletes with spouses, man. We all seen what's gone down over the past week and a half here. Aisha Curry, uh, mama Curry, throwing out some stuff. Sonia Curry. We're going to talk about her, Because as fine as Mama Curry is, I got to throw a little shade her way today as well. So Mama Curry, I'm sorry, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. And Big Coop out there in the chat room talking about a little soccer match tonight, U.S. versus Argentina. So good luck to the American soccer team. Definitely standing with your homeboys. And what all all we got, brand new, somewhat breaking news on a new TV deal for the Big Ten that is going to put so much money in the back pockets of these Big Ten schools, man. It is all over. It is all over. And the other Power Five conferences are definitely going to learn from this. And they are definitely, definitely going to be, if not jealous, they're definitely going to get working on their new plans. I'll tell you that. So stay tuned, Big Ten news there and what else we got going on the philadelphia's in town for all my local fans here on the minnesota side the phillies today is invading target field to take on our twinkies the twins were already down uh one nothing in the first there so who knows man it's another twins game what can we say beautiful weather in the twin city since i've gotten back sunday evening this is what it's all about this is why i love living here man if it could only be like this year round man only if it could be year round and before we get up to our first break here in a couple minutes i gotta welcome the very lovely miss classy queen josette in the house she's tuning in i think maybe for the first time so miss classy thank you for tuning in to sports done right with vince Wright, the sports governor tonight We definitely appreciate you swinging through. And what else we got going on? Cleveland baseball doing pretty good. So the the good times keep rolling for those fine folks out there at Cleveland. They're getting set for that parade tomorrow. Should be a good time. So now uh, before we get into our first break, I just wanted to throw it out there. And oh, you're very welcome. Very welcome, Miss Queen. For the shout out on Sports Done Right with me, Vince Wright, the sports governor. Make sure you follow the Facebook group as well, people. Sports Done Right, W-R-I-G-H-T. And check us out on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network as well. Now, Skip Bayless called it a day today on the first take. And I don't know how you feel about the embrace debate, that whole kind of moniker that ESPN went to, you know, it just sounded a a lot of times, a lot of bloviating. It sounded like either skip was making up half of what he says, or if, if he truly did believe that, which a lot of people say he, you know, really just did a number. I don't know. It just, it never really worked for me after the two live stews, our our gurus, our mentors were let go from ESPN. It, It just didn't really work for me. Uh, not a big Stephen A fan. So it, like I said, just didn't work. But again, Skip's made a lot of money uh, talking a lot of nonsense. What do you think? I think half the time he's full of crap. I really do. Uh, you know, just you got to make money. You got to bloviate. But now there's lots of stories that have been coming out here over the past couple of days of just how happy people that work there are at ESPN that he is going. So 
We'll talk about that a little bit after the break as well. So let's do this here while we get things going. We're going to take ourselves our first break. We're going to come back. We're going to get into all this stuff. We're going to get into the NBA, have some fun with it. I am Vince Wright, your sports governor. Still a little kind of out of out of sorts, man, from this trip. I ain't going to lie to you people. Govs, man, I, I haven't been able to get to sleep like I've wanted to and all that nonsense, man. But just very happy to be back with you doing another episode of Sports Done Right. And I want to thank you for joining me. Again, that phone number, by the way, 651-968-0124. And I want to welcome our main man, Team Togo, Togo Uganda Coles, into the chat as well. What's up, Togo? Togo, are you back down in uh, Tampa, St. Pete? If you are, sir, let me know. Is it a hot one down there? I want to say uh, what up to everybody listening. All my Minnesota people, too, man. I really appreciate the love. Uh, Jose Jackson over there. I, I appreciate the tweets, man. Keep listening to the show. You and the posse out there in the Roseville metro area. So let's do this, man. I got a new song here. I do got the rights to play from my main man, Robbie Rob, coming out of his stable. And a couple uh, young cats on here that we hope to have in the studio here. Friends of mine, uh, Derek Turner, I think, is on this one as well. But it's called Black Man Standing Mix 2. So... We're going to get you set up with that. We're going to come back. We're going to talk some NBA people. We're going to give LeBron the love that he so truly deserves. And we're going to get into it. Get them chat room questions ready. Let's get it going, man. It is going to be on Skip Bayless. What do you guys think about social media and Aisha Curry and Miko Grimes and these spouses out there? Do, do their opinions count for anything? I don't know. I don't know, man, but... We will be right back after this break to talk about it on Sports Done Right. Keep it tuned right here. Ghetto pastures, full of coulda, woulda, shouldas, and caskets. Situations critical, tragic. Still can't figure out how AIDS left magic. But I guess if you make enough money, you'll make magic. It's hard to be all you can be when all that you see is death and disease. Black ministers raping the seeds. In the streets, we ain't escaping the heat, we raising it. Them seeds roaming the same streets, but who raising them? Obama ain't filling them bullets when they grazing them. Sending seeds don't get taken when the coroners are praising them. Nope, it ain't phasing none of them cats. Afghanistan. We warm right here where we at It's a fact, love it or hate it The economy's makeshift Still gotta get paid Still dodging the haters Land of the freezer landfill Smell the hatred 2000 now Nothing's taboo or safe Life's a soap opera Prepare for speed knots landing I ain't never scared I'm a black man standing Imagine living on an all black planet With tall buildings made of all black granite No black on black crime is how I plan it But every black woman be a black man standing Failure's not an option Cause that's demanded By the earth she frail She need a black man standing they Celebrate just MLK Not Malcolm Marcus Garvey Fred Hampton Or Eldridge Cleaver How do the government Really see us Integrated Not assimilated Searching for white Jesus My thesis are work in progress Too much info to process Nymphos in the projects Birthing babies With limited promise we in a race for more than land and dollars. We gon' lose if you plan to follow. President's policies is borrowed. Sock puppet politics is so hollow. It's a scam on tomorrow. I know we black, y'all, but that's about it. That war overseas, man, that's about chips. Healthcare reform, that's about rich folks and their benefits. Freedom by any means, never been more relevant. Four cash turning credits, and I register my melanin. I be rebelling, military minded with my regiment. Life's a soap opera, prepare for speed nights landing. I ain't never scared, I'm a black man man standing imagine living on an all black planet with tall buildings made of all black granite no black on black crime is how i plan it but every black woman be a black man standing failure's not an option because that's demanded by the earth she frail she need a black man standing she need a black man standing she need a black man standing Oh, 
The number one cheap rock of Jersey firm. Lonely Hearts Cafe. Spicy conversations. It's Vince Wright, the sports governor from Minnesota. Man, Jelly Young. Microwave! Reggie Long, aka Dollars and Cents. No tricks in 86, it's time to build. Check out the Doug Stewart Show Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time right here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. It's sports talk, it's guy talk, it's fun talk. Once again, that's the Doug Stewart Show. One half of the world-famous Two Live Stews, Doug Stewart. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time at StewartMediaAndEntertainment.com. Trust me. You'll have more fun than you can shake a stick at. And I got one question for you. Are you not entertained, huh? Hey, Vince Wright here. Sports Done Right is my show. Make sure you're listening on Wednesdays on SME. The Sports Gov, Sports Done Right, SME. Three things that go great together. It's beach body season. So if you're looking to get that beach body, there's still time with IASO tea. The IASO tea is a unique blend of nine all natural herbs. Just eight ounces of tea twice daily can provide you with dramatic results and have you beach ready in no time. Place your order today at www.totallifechanges.com forward slash tea team. That's www.totallifechanges.com forward slash T E A T E A M or call. 678-250-5839 That's 678-250-5839 Start working on your beach body today The people have spoken and no matter how it goes down your sports talk, it's gonna be alright So forget the GOP, the DNC the only party in town is at the Governor's Mansion The Governor of Sports Talk, that is Every Tuesday night right here on Speaker Come on over and get your sports done right now let's get back to the show with the big smooth Vince Wright. Coming to you live from the sports mansion in the palatial estates here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's sports done right by my man Vince Wright. And now, the big smooth himself, ladies and gentlemen, Vince Wright. Think about y'all. And we are back. What's going on, people? Sports Governor Vince Wright. The mad tunes of Robbie Rob in the background. Thank you for the drops, homeboy. Robbie Rob music. Appreciate that. And congratulations. It finally happened, man. What can we say? The Cleveland Cavaliers are champions of the basketball world, man. I know my co-host Reggie, a.k.a. Dollars and Cents, is loving life right now. I know Man De Leon, as we talked about earlier. First off, man, you know, I got my notes here. I got stats. I got all that other nonsense. But first, man, just from the heart, I got to say this. I had no dog in this fight, man. I had no dog in this fight. Didn't really care who won. There were good storylines on both sides of the aisle. Obviously, if you take it to Golden State, trying to repeat uh, the the perfect season virtually, you know, 73 and nine doing that whole thing. Steph hitting shots that we have never, ever seen before to win games and to blow games out. Then we had Cleveland. Obviously, we know LeBron doing it for the town, the state, the city, the county, the streets, everybody in his home state of Ohio. He, he's made that known. And man, first off, the, you, hats off to LeBron. Because the hate's going to stop right here on LeBron. Not that I ever gave LeBron a lot of hate. The only time I truly really hated LeBron was when he came out of high school and ESPN was kind of pimping those high school games and, and blowing them up. And I'm going to get to the chat rooms. I see we got some new people. I got to welcome out there in a quick minute. But uh, I'll just finish this thought real quick. 
then I saw LeBron play. I think it might have been the second, third season with Cleveland. My, I, I, I've told this story before, man. Had great.